last piece we're going to play for you is Mozart's Piano Concerto Number no. 8, which he wrote when he was 20 in 1776, which I threw in because I think it's significant, because it's such a fantastic country, wherever we may happen to be in it. But 1776 is when Mozart made his own personal declaration of independence and wrote this beautiful, exquisite music. As with all his piano concertos, it has three parts, as you've probably already noticed. It has a moderate speed movement to begin with, then it has a slow middle section, then it has a slightly faster end section, and for me, this is one of my favorite pieces. It has some exquisite music in it, and I only have one hope that you like it. <laughs> Sorry, but I think this is now a good time to make some, give some thank yous. The first thank you is to Alfred. <laughs> for standing in at, at zero notice, and believe me, he is exactly the page turner that a professional pianist needs. <laughs> the next to tell you about is this gentleman sitting here in the white shirt in the chair. This is Jim Coleman Sr. He is a world-class piano tuner and piano technician. And and Jim has very kindly provided not one, but two pianos. What we have here is a Baldwin 7-foot. I'm telling you, this Baldwin is the nearest piano I've ever played to something that has a human voice. Because when you play it, listen to this. What language? You can play any note on this thing, and it sings in a way that I've never, really, I've played tons of pianos, I've never heard such a beautiful piano as this. It's a dry heat. So thank you, Jim. provided this smaller piano and this is a challenge to changing to get some sufficient sound out of it but it sounds a gorgeous piano and it's on the sort of scale that Mozart would have played. Mozart's piano 250 years ago would have looked quite similar to that one. The next thank you is to the man in the brown t-shirt holding the camera. And this is Dan Schultz, who is my friend in Tempe, and he has arranged pretty much all the connections and the contacts that has made this thing possible. And ultimately, thank you to Sheriff Joe. 